dear students so i am again here in that practical series where i will be talking to you about benedict test so benedict test needs benedict reagent and the urine solution in which you have to check for the amine reducing agent so first of all i talk to you regarding this benedict solution benedict reagent this is having three component one is copper sulfate pentahydrate another is sodium citrate and third is sodium carbonate the role of copper sulfate is to provide the cupric ion which will be reduced to cuprous during processing and that is going to give you different color the role of sodium citrate is to make the copper sulfate soluble in the urine uh, in the solution in the polar solution and the role of sodium carbonate is to provide the alkali media because this test is being done in the alkali media and basically this test is meant for finding out the presence of glucose or absence of glucose in the patient urine as you understand if the glucose level goes beyond 180 mg per deciliter in the blood it comes out in the urine so that is the renal threshold for glucose so diabetic patients who are having high amount of glucose in the blood will filter the glucose in the urine so by detecting the glucose in the urine you understand that this patient is having more than 180 mg per deciliter of glucose now let's see how this test is being done you have to take a clean test tube which you have to hold like this with the help of holder and then you have to take 5 ml of benedict solution in this is very important you take correct 5 ml of benedict solution in the tube if you do not have this auto dispenser you can use glass pipette and can pour 5 ml of benedict solution in this tube and then what next is done the urine solution is taken which is given to you and eight drops is to be correctly poured eight drops you have to be careful regarding the drops you have to count and pour 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 eight drops of urine you have to put in this benedict solution and mix it thoroughly you have to mix it thoroughly eight drops of urine for 5 ml of benedict if you are taking uh, 2.5 ml of benedict you can use four drops of urine this is a semi quantitative assessment because the color which is developed is going to tell you some rough estimate of the glucose which is excreted in the urine so after mixing the tube you have to heat it on dry heat for 2 minutes time right and then you have to cool it at room temperature and after cooling you will observe whether the color is changed or not so you can see any of this picture you uh, find uh, on heating the tube and cooling it later on the solution color may not change it shows you absence of any reducing sugar it may show you green color it may show, show you green color uh, precipitate yellow color Uh, the uh, solution will turn yellow the solution may turn orange or it may turn even the brick red so these colors may develop and each color is telling you something like for example the green color is telling you the amount of glucose in the urine is less than 0.5 g percent and green precipitate is 0.5 uh, to 1 g percent or uh, yellow color is 1 to 1.5 g percent and this is 1.5 to 2 g percent the orange color is 1.5 to 2 g percent and the red color brick red color is more than 2 g percent of glucose in the urine so this is how this is a semi quantitative test where you have to take a calculated ratio that is 5 ml of benedict you have to take 8 drops of urine and then the color after heating and cooling which is seen in the tube is denoting you the amount of uh, you know the reducing sugar in the urine most of the time we are doing it this as i have told you for glucose but even the fructose will give you this test positive even the galactose will give you this test positive and certain disaccharides like lactose is going to give you this test positive so if this test is positive any of the color which is being developed the green yellow orange or red you see that this test is positive so that positivity may be because of any reducing sugar even fructose is giving you so benign fructose urea you will have this test positive galactosemia where you find galactose in the urine this test is positive right so it's not a very specific test for the glucose so benedict test is positive means some reducing sugar is there but what reducing sugar may be that uh, you have to assess by doing the enzymatic assessment right so in nutshell this is the benedict test and there are certain non carbohydrate substances which are going to give you this test positive because they are also reducing in nature and they are vitamin c salicylates penicillin isoniazides 
then urea uric acid creatinine they all are going to give you this test positive so you have to be very careful and uh, you may ask one question that why there are different shapes the different shapes are because of the amount of cuprous oxide which is produced less of the cuprous oxide you get to have green color more of the cuprous oxide is going to give you red hue and amount of cuprous oxide in turn depends upon the reducing compound the amount of glucose in the urine right so if there are less glucose it will give you green color then this range will be there and when there are so much of glucose more than 2 gram percent you get to have red color so thank you very much I, and if you have not subscribed my youtube channel please subscribe it now because i will be updating you uh, regarding various practical demonstrations thank you very much